Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 14th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow and JavaScript where we are clearing the fundamental concept of JavaScript. So if you are new in programming, then this series is definitely going to help you to clear the fundamental concept of JavaScript. See, if you do not clear the fundamental concept, you cannot do, you know, the complex programming right so also if you are a service now administrator or you are looking for to learn service now development then this video series is also for you because you need to understand the fundamental of javascript to work on service now development because service now development is only possible with the knowledge of javascript okay so let's start the class okay so i'm in my visual studio and on the right hand side i have the console chrome so in the last class we have understood very important concept that is the function right on the class 9 and i have explained you how function works how you can declare a function how you can mention parameters how you can call a function with arguments what are parameters and arguments with example i've explained you all these things so if you miss the video don't worry i'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link here on your screen right so today we are going to learn we will continue the learning of function now today we will call a function inside of another function right it would be fun trust me so let me first comment this all this stuff so before i give you an example or we work on how we can call a function from another function first very quickly i'm going to tell you two things okay we have learned how to declare a function so you know that we declare a function in this way like first we name function then for an example function age equal to then function age and then we put parentheses and then here we do like this right this is called the function declaration right so this is called function declaration i hope i'm writing the spelling correct and there's another way you can write function which is the this is called the function expression so now here i'm gonna so you know that expression always produces a value right expression always produces a value and we can store the value in a variable we can store any value in the variable so we can write like so let my age age equal to now here i'm going to write function now the parameter if i want to write anything that's it that's the function expression okay to call this function same way we can use okay let me show you we can declare any variable like for an example let my age one and then we can just call it like this my age and then we can pass any parameter if if not needed then just simply like this so this is how we use the function expression and function declaration although i will show you this function uh, expression in today's example this is clear now we are going to work on today's class okay actually it is already started so i'll just name it class 10 and it would be calling function from function okay that's it so now what we are going to do now let's do a new example okay so suppose i want to check that if a person is eligible for a driving license or not and here two condition has to be met first the person who is applying his or her age has to be more than 18 years okay and and also he has to pass the driving exam that's how the process is right you have to pass the exam and you have to eligible the age first is the first criteria is the age your age has to be has to be more than 18 and and you have to pass the exam okay so now we can directly write a function like this so maybe this time i will uh, show you the function expression so let uh, driving license so this is a variable and where i'm going to declare a function this is a function expression and i'm going to take maybe age and the exam okay exam pass now what i'm going to do is that what is the condition if age is greater than uh, 18 
and so you know this is the logical operator already have discussed in my past videos so if you have any confusion you can check it out so the next thing is that exam pass has to be true right the exam pass has to be true so i'll pass i'll make the condition like this if both are this true then i'm going to return by saying hey you are eligible for driving license okay that's it and else if the condition does not meet else else what's going to happen return return sorry you are not eligible okay now to call the function we can call it in two ways first i can declare a variable that's how we did uh, previous time also so maybe a variable name get driving and here we mention our variable again driving license and pass the value now you know this whole function is storing under driving license so i'll pass the value to uh, arguments i'm going to pass for two parameters age is 20 and driving license is true that's it and now i'm going to console dot log i'll print the value get driving okay so let's see what happens so you see the pass it's 20 and true so it is showing hey you are eligible for driving license right this is one way we can declare and also as you can guess it that this is a variable and it's storing the function so i can directly print the variable so i can directly write like console.log so here i'm gonna write driving license and i'll pass the parameter maybe this time i'll pass 17 and uh true maybe okay Just, let's see sorry you are not eligible because it's coming in the else condition so see how cool it is to use the uh, expression function expression but today's video i told you that i'm going to show you how you can call different function inside of a function now what i'm going to do is that you can see this age and i'm passing this it is true or false directly from the from the calling function level right i'm passing here but now the age will be calculated what is the age of the current person will be calculated from another function that's what i'm going to do here so i will write here another function so maybe this time i will use normal function declaration so maybe calculate age and in bracket i'm gonna pass here and it would accept the birth year so birth year i need to pass and based on the birth year what it would return it would return current year which is 2023 minus the birth year okay so birth year value i'm going to pass it right this is another function so here i don't need age anymore because age i'm going to get from this calculate age function so i will just remove it only exam pass value uh, will be there so this condition is fine so all i need to do i need to call the function calculate age because this function has to cal has to call to return the age right to this calculation and return the age so what i'm gonna do is there so i'm gonna call the function so i'll say let age equal to i'm gonna call the function which is named calculate age inside of the function called driving license okay and i'm gonna pass it i need to pass the birth year right so i'm gonna pass maybe 2004 this is the birth year okay this is i'm calling and this driving license is only accepting one parameter whether exam pass is true or not so maybe i'm just gonna make it true okay now what's gonna happen is okay first let me show you the output hey you are eligible for driving license so what is happening here first i'm calling the function driving license true okay which i've declared as a variable it's a function expression so it is going here the exam pass is not now becoming true this is a parameter is becoming true now here in this line i am creating a variable called age and and again i'm calling the function called calculate age which is a separate function whether i'm where i'm passing the argument as 2004 right now this 2004 is going to the birth year 2023 minus 20, 2004 which is coming as 19 so i can also do a console.log here just to confirm you console.log the value of age what is coming right 
it is coming as 19 then the comparison is happening and based on that the output is coming so if i refresh it this time you see the value is coming 19 and if it is more than 18 then it's eligible for driving license isn't it cool now this time maybe i'm gonna pass the bar tier as 2007 okay and we know that this answer would be 17 and it is not eligible right so we have created this function this is a function expression driving license and inside of it i'm calling the function called calculate age from another function which is the driving license and it is working fine so you understand how helpful it would be when you do multiple where you need to calculate multiple things and based on that you will uh, work or your output will come okay so now you see how a function can be called from a, inside of a function and also you have seen uh, the difference between function declaration and function expression i hope you have enjoyed the video guys if you want to practice more so like i said i am doing a coding exercise video only for the members so just you need to do join the channel with a minimum level of subscription is there so it's affordable for everyone every week i post the video where i uh, give the question first scenario and i solve the answer also so this week i'm going to do it for this function stuff uh, calling function from another function so you make sure you practice it and you become strong in programming in javascript okay so so this is it for today guys if you find it helpful hit the like button let me know any question in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friends see you in my next video bye bye take care